hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm here with a brand new video and today's video i'm going to be doing my mom's nails and not just any nails i'm doing her birthday nails and if i have any pictures of how i've done her nails in the past birthdays i'll enter them like around here so i still consider myself a beginner nail tech because it's a little rough still but um i think this is my like second year no probably like my year and a half of consistently doing it um i've have gone to nail school i finished that i'm just waiting to take my state board exam coming up i'm so nervous but i'm super excited because then i'll be finally licensed so we're gonna be doing my mom's nails today and i'm just gonna do a little video of how that turns out we still don't know what we're doing but today we're doing acrylic so let's see what we come up with all right guys so this is my little setup i'm just gonna go through it but as of right now i still do them in my living room and i keep all my things in my room so first i have my phone stand and i got this at kohl's for like five bucks and then i got my drill from a class that i took and then um my little sony cane and then my lamp my parents got it for me at the dogs right there my dad got it for me at costco and it's super cool it changes like this is my first time actually using it i think you can charge your phone here i'm not sure i haven't even tried it out oh what the heck it does charge your phone okay that's cool um but today i'm testing it out it's a little bit smaller than my other one so that is the only thing but you can also do the time here the day and then the degrees and then it changes like this super cool this uv lamp i've had it for many years and it's used and abused to the brim i have another one but um i haven't opened that one up because this one still works really good so i would recommend my hand rest is from amazon and then my mom is here um and then the bottom mat right now on amazon as well my bibs are from my local nail supply store so yeah that's that and then over here we got some like a lot of things going on this little tree i got this from a class that i also took when i got my drill um but um yeah i have this and these bottles are so freaking cool i also have the alcohol one but that one is in my room but these are so cute and then this is all like my other things like they're just like things that i need like matte coat top coat my appraised um base it's like a bunch of things that i need just to have them right away and then in here i have all my brushes these are not all my brushes but this is just this is when i first started using okay, like okay let's not talk about that but this is just all my little setup and then in here all my acrylics in here and then i have all my implements sanitized and disinfected so those are ready to go they're just drying out but yeah we're gonna get started so right now we're just gonna brainstorm some ideas and then i'll end up showing you guys what we end up going with are you ready yes let's go i also did forget to show you guys i do have my nail dust collector these are the tips that i'm going to be using they did not come in a box so i obviously don't have the box but they do come in all the sizes obviously and it goes up to a zero um with the smallest i think being 11 or 10 all right guys so these are how the tips are looking on so before i do cut them i just go back in with my drill and make sure to blend the tip to the natural nail and this is lightly because you don't want to burn or create a dent in your clients now and then i go in with my nail tip cutters and i put magnets just to help me with the size the nail like this and then i just size it down and i cut and then this cut would be a number five because there's five magnets so this is how it's looking and then i ask good yes. and make sure to always cut longer because you can always go shorter you can never go longer and then you would have to restart your whole process of adding a tip so then you just cut and for me i have the problem where this one's always shorter than the other ones 
So then I just make sure that they're even. And this one looks a little shorter still. But I'm just going to cut a little bit more of each so they can all match. So my mom does one coffin. So then I go in with my straight cutters. All right, guys, we can kind of see, but this is the coffin shape that I went with. I normally don't do coffin shape, um, so they might look a little wonky, but I will shape them once the acrylic is applied and everything like that. So let's get started. Sticking on your backstage pass, all access cause you bad. You could go wherever with that ass. Show to the shower, to the truck, truck to the club for the party. You go in first with your girls, cause I don't know who's out there watching. But I do know one thing, yo. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday, Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day, maybe we'll someday grow. Till then I sit my drunk ass on that runway, on this one way. So this is just the application, no filing. So right now we're going to file it and make it crispy. Alright guys, these are the nails. Okay. Good. I how they're looking and now we're going to do a design. So we're going to do a 3D flower and with the 3D flower. We're gonna be using the Flex Gel from Kira Sky. I just purchased this um, not so long ago. Um, I went to one of the Kira Sky events and the instructor was using it. So I came in and bought it. I opened it up and I didn't know it was gonna be that filled up because usually some don't come that filled. But I'm gonna be using what's on top. of wonky but still looks good i would say from afar <laughs> but it's how it's looking this is what we're going for super cute and then i just added some rhinestones and then i did this french with um this purple from candy coat and then this one is mackenzie and then i added this on top it doesn't have a name Just memories. I don't you love when I come. 